Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you an alternative Comfy UI front end that you can use right away. So basically, we are going to go from this to this UI. Now, this is still Comfy UI. In the back end, I'm still running Comfy UI, so you will be getting all the benefits from Comfy UI. It is just that instead of interacting and generating image using this view, you will be using this view. Let's go for a quick demo, and then I'm going to show you how you can install it on your system. It is super easy, especially if you already have Comfy UI installed. Now, as you can see, I already have a workflow loaded, and this is just the basic SD 1.5 workflow. So if we start from the left side, we have checkpoint. You can go and select the checkpoint from the dropdown. Sampler, again, same thing. We have the samplers. And one thing that you'll note here is that if your Comfy UI is up to date, so if you have not seen my previous video, check this out. I explain how to get the CFG++. Basically, these are newer samplers that uh, the Comfy UI developers added. And as you can see, it shows here. So anytime there's an update on Comfy UI side, it will also show here. Now, similarly, scheduler, all of those settings from the case sampler is present here. We have the resolution here. There's the seed. We can go down. And this drop down here that says custom, this one is new to this UI. It basically gives you some default resolution for SD 1.5 or SDXL. Whichever one you want to use, you can, of course, just manually input your own resolution here. Now the middle section, we have the top part. This is where the images which got generated will appear. So this is similar to image preview that we have here. By the way, by default, it is saving it. Then we have a progress bar here. This is the same progress bar that you will see in your terminal. Instead of checking your terminal, you can check it from this UI itself. I have generate, interrupt, that's pretty default. The bottom one is the positive and negative prompt. And then on the right side, the, this column here is going to be the history and all the images that you generate. So if I change this, generate a new image, you can see the progress bar. And then we have the history here. Of course, I can go back to a previous image by clicking on the image. Now, this isn't the default view. When you install it for the first time, you will be seeing this view. This is basically the home page of this UI here. So these thumbnails that you are seeing, they are basically workflows. And as you can see here, we have the Flux Dev workflow. If I click on it, you can see at the left side here, these are settings for the Flux. Basically, we have a Clip Loader 1 and 2. That's going to be for the Clip L and then the T5 XXL. So the dual Clip Loader. If I want to load it from here. Now, this one is a simple workflow. If I go back, so you can go back by clicking on the flow button here. And then you can search for it. If I search for Flux, you can see that there are different variations of the Flux workflow that's already built for you to use. Now, of course, there are the previous workflows as well. So, for example, Poolid is already here. And if I go back to the home page, and you can see that we have the Poolid with Flux. There is an image to video LCM here. There is a generative fill, there's LoRa, and there are a lot of other options like Anime Div, all of that, that you can just click on. It will automatically load the workflow. You just need to select the different settings from the left side and generate it. Now, of course, you will still need to download the models for it to work. Now, before we go into what is the pros and cons of using this new interface for Comfy UI, let me show you how you can install it locally on your system. Now, the first requirement is to have Comfy UI already installed. I have a video on how to install Comfy UI and the Comfy UI Manager. So please check that video out if you are new to the channel. Now, for most of you, you just need to go inside the Comfy UI folder, inside Custom Nodes folder, and you will need to get this Comfy UI Disty Flow folder inside here. 
Now, of course, the usual way would be to click on the link in the description below. It will take you to the GitHub repository. Then click on this code button. Click here where it says copy URL to clipboard. If you do not see it, if, you, if it shows like this, make sure you are clicking on HTTPS first. Click on copy and then go inside the custom news folder at the top here. Type in CMD, press enter. It will open the terminal inside the custom news folder. And then you just need to type in git clone and then paste the link there. Now press enter. I already have it as you can see here. Next step would be to restart Comfy UI. So just close the terminal and reopen Comfy UI. It will automatically download all of the workflows for you. Now I believe I have it here in my terminal. So as you can see, when restarting Comfy UI, it will tell you here that hello, that is the project name, downloading flows, and then it will tell you here that it's updating. The... Now, once Comfy UI is start, it will again start in the default view. You will need to go to the top here in your address bar, go all the way to the right side, and then put a forward slash, and then type in hello, F-L-O-W. Press enter and it will take you to this UI. And now from here, you can basically play around with these individual workflow. All right, so now I'm going to go with a little bit of pros and cons based on my experience using this UI. Now, first thing that you will notice is that in this UI, there's no way of building a new workflow. So if the workflow that you're trying to do is a custom workflow, it's not available here. You will not be able to use it unless the developers add that particular workflow here. Of course, in the normal Comfy UI web UI, you can build any workflow that you would like to. Otherwise, all the workflows here are already built for you. So that's a big plus. There's also no possible way of doing in painting or out painting from this UI. Now, most of the things that I found that are missing from here are actually in the roadmap. And as you can see, the first one is the flow customization, which will, once they've implemented it, will allow you to get a flow builder or converter. And I'm guessing since they call it builder or converter, they will probably add some kind of way to build the workflow directly from here. Or if they go the converter route, they probably allow you to upload your own workflow json file that you can get from exporting as an api or maybe exporting like normally then it will automatically create it now they've also added like feature support here in their roadmap in painting enhancing media handling live review and prompt tracking as of right now when you click on the history here you can see that currently my prompt is for us so if i go to the second image if i click on it it doesn't change my prompt, nor does these parameters update. So this is what they meant by the prompt tracking and UI enhancement. There is also like a status bar implementation. And you can see the different things that they have planned for this project. So as of right now, it is still a new project. It was released about a week ago and there has been constant updates since. Now, right now in the front end, there's no possible way of adding your own workflow. However, on my Patreon, I released a video where I was testing it. And during this test, I also experimented in making my own flow. So basically my own UI. If you'd like to watch that video, you can join my Patreon and watch it. But like I mentioned here, you probably want to go at 2x speed since I did a lot of trial and error and right now there are no documentation available. Now that video goes into the code. Basically I had to write a JSON file and then get the workflow, combine it and so on. So for those of you who are interested, you can go to my Patreon and you can watch it from there. I will be keeping an eye on this project. I believe it is, in my opinion, it is a good project to get people to start using Comfy UI. If they keep on adding more workflows, 
in here this is going to be a really good library where you can just click on any of these it will automatically load that workflow and you can just start using it by the way this is connected to comfy ui so let me just do a a long generation so i'm going to go overboard here um just hope that i do not get memory issues so this is like 2k image for sd 1.5 i'm not going to worry about the quality of that image i just want to show you that it is connected to comfy ui so right now this is the flow ui and this is the comfy ui let me just clear the task so i do not have any task in the comfy ui now i'm going to go into the flow i will click on this generate button now as you can see here it is generating now going back to the comfy ui interface you can see that here it says running and it's showing here that there is a task that's basically getting generated of course if i go into the terminal for comfy ui you can see that it's actually generating here all right so that's just a quick video telling you how you can use a different ui if you do not like this version of comfy ui now obviously when it comes to building a workflow or a customized workflow this front end is the best in my opinion for new people who are just getting inside of comfy ui trying to learn how comfy ui works may be a little bit difficult and the learning curve may be too steep but using this interface may be an easier choice all right so if there are any other updates i will let you know thank you for watching until the very end i hope you have a great day ahead take care i will see you in the next one